DFC fighter and fan favorite Vindicator Paladin, MTL, has acquired quite the following these days. But what sorts of secrets is he hiding? What is he doing that some other Diablo 2 players are not doing? Is MTL a hacker? Does he use mods? Is he trash? In this episode of D2 Tips and Tricks, we're going to be looking at one of the things that MTL does in the dueling arena that sets him apart from a lot of other duelers. And maybe after seeing this video with a little bit of practice, you too can be mistaken for a no good, dirty, trash modder. Chain lock that subscribe button and let's dive in. MTL utilizes a very nasty PvP trick known as chain locking. This trick allows you to follow your opponent all the way across the map from great, great distances, even off screen, and just get the nastiest hits right away. You might see your opponent walking far off on the map and then suddenly they telly stomp you and smack you with a smite. To the unexperienced eye, it might look like the person is modding or using some sort of auto aim program. But that's not always the case. This trick can be done legitimately and with a little bit of practice. The trick consists of basically three steps. You may be familiar with a couple of them, but it's chaining them all together, pun intended, that really makes the trick work. So what we'll do is take a close look at all three steps, and then at the end, we'll put them all together and show you what the finished product looks like. So let's dive in to step one, or really the first concept that you should be familiar with. If you've spent any amount of time in the dueling arena in Diablo 2, you might be familiar with the term Tele Stomp. Tele Stomping refers to when you teleport directly on top of a target, whether it's a monster or another player. From there, you quickly switch your skills and cast the most devastating thing you possibly can. Hammerdens are probably most notorious for doing this, but Tele Stomping is pretty common across a lot of different character classes in Diablo 2. Tele stomping looks like this. You can see that teleport is on my right click skill and immediately after casting teleport, I switch to the concentration aura so that that is applied as soon as my character hits the ground. This allows you to quickly get in close to your opponent and throw a hammer at them for full damage. If you're completely new to chain locking, this will be something that you'll want to practice first and sort of get this down packed. The second concept, number two, that you should be familiar with if you've played Diablo 2, is the concept of name locking. Name locking refers to when you hold down one of your click buttons right on top of a player's character. At that point, the character or monster or whatever you have name locked can actually move far off the screen. However, your character will still be trying to attack them. Guided Arrow will actually seek your opponent out if they're on your screen. But if they move off of your screen, Guided Arrow might as well be Magic Arrow because it will not seek them out if they're off your screen. However, if you name lock your opponent, that completely changes the game. Suddenly, the Guided Arrow knows exactly where to go and will hunt your opponent down. But basically, all you have to do is click the mouse button that has your intended attack skill on it on top of your opponent's character and just hold it there. From there, they can move far off the screen, but as long as they still appear on your minimap, you have them name locked. You'll even see that no matter how far away they move, their name is always highlighted on the screen. That is a very good indication that you have them name locked. But another important facet of this concept that we need to understand 
is that when you have somebody name locked, you can actually move your cursor wherever you want to on the screen. And as long as you don't let off of the mouse button that you're holding down, that player's name will always be targeted. Take that nugget of information, remember it. We're gonna use it in just a second. Now you might be thinking, okay, Cooley, I'm very familiar with both of these concepts, telly stomping and name locking. They're pretty basic. How do these things make MTL such a good dueler? And that brings us to part three, the chain locking step. Although it's very useful to telly stomp or to name lock your opponent, you'll notice that when you cast certain skills, you actually break your name lock or your cursor is no longer locked onto the person's name after you cast certain skills. Teleport is one of those skills. As soon as you teleport on top of your opponent, if your cursor is no longer on top of your opponent's character, you will lose your name lock. So the concept of chain locking comes from the ability to chain those name locks together, and hence we get the name. So the third piece of this chain locking puzzle is simply moving your cursor onto a spot on the screen that will allow you to quickly grab another name lock as soon as your first one breaks. And that position is directly on your character's feet. It's practically right in the center of the screen. While still holding down the button on your mouse that is allowing you to name lock your opponent, switch to your hotkey for teleport and quickly cast that as well. From there, you'll notice that your character will tele stomp your opponent. Even if they're far off the screen, you'll be able to teleport right on top of them. But what you'll immediately need to do after teleport is finished casting, this is the tricky part. Quickly let go of the button that you're holding to name lock your opponent and click it again. If you've done it correctly, your opponent's character should fall right onto your cursor. Since your cursor will then be right on top of your opponent, you can then click down on your attack button again and your opponent will yet again be name locked. If you're doing this on certain characters, such as an assassin or a druid, it's actually pretty easy to do the name lock because you really only need one mouse button to pull it off. From there, it's just a simple switching of hotkeys and re-clicking when you telly stomp. If you're just looking to practice this skill, I would say start there for sure. But that's chain locking in a nutshell. A dirty, dirty PVP trick. With enough practice, once you get the rhythm of it down, maybe you can also be accused of being a modder like Joby. If you wanna see more chain locking like a pro, go check out Joby's YouTube channel linked down in the description. It's pretty insane just watching him do what he does. If you'd like to be a part of the DFC, maybe give MTL a run for his money here, check out some of the links on my about page for some directions on how to get into it. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll catch you in the next one.